Is true love possible for the high value feminine woman? Hello Swans, I'm Yvonne, your marriage and divorce coach here at Black Swan Relationship Academy. And today we're going to look at is true love possible for the high value feminine woman? The short answer is yes, of course it is, because all things are possible. And when you've done the work and you've worked on yourself, then people see um, the transformation. You walk with that air of confidence. You're in a relationship with someone. And not only are you um, enabling him to love you, you're also receiving from him. And the beauty of when you've done the work is it enables you to give and give from a place that um, it's not, you're not doing it because you're being needy. You're not doing it because you're being Miss Nice Girl and you do for everybody. But what you're doing is you're, because you're receiving, you are, you have learned how to give and give of, you know, of yourself, of your time and all the things that is necessary for the relationship to be healthy. And the only reason why that could have happened is because, um, you know, you understood that, you know what, something is wrong, something is lacking. I need to, you know, take time out to look at me and which is what you did. And we thank God that you were able to do so because what that enabled you to do is to meet the real you. And when you met the real you, then you realized, you know what, I'm a nice person. And you were able to do that with the help of you probably engaged in a therapist who, you know, uh, began unlocking the door of past hurts. And you were able to, you know, take off the um, the plasters that you had covered over, you know, uh, the wounds that you had and allow those wounds to heal and to stop them from uh, festering and, you know, making you continually choose the wrong person. You then, after you did that, you engaged in the soulmate attraction course. And in engaging in the soulmate attraction course, that enabled you to really love on you, to look at you from, you know, all sides and to make sure that you were you know, the best you you can be. After you did that, then you dipped into the um, um, healing affirmation um, um, booklet that there is where every morning you woke up and, you know, you had it in front of your mirror, wherever you went, you had the things, um, you know, the affirmations around your room so that you could speak those words of encouragement to yourself that would gladden your heart to let you know that, you know what, you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You're a wonderfully a wonderful person and you know anyone would be glad to have you in their lives and you continue to do the work you didn't just dip your toe in but you dived head first into this and you you know did the um, course on learning how to speak to men so that they would listen and then after you did that you did the feminine mastery class because you wanted you understood from that that you had been operating in your masculine energy and because you want to be high value because you want to learn to love yourself, you had to readjust to come and be in your feminine energy so that you could meet that masculine man where, you know, he's masculine, you're feminine, the two come together and beautiful things happen. But if you um, continued in your masculine energy, looking for a masculine man, then there was friction there because it's, you know, the two energies coming together were not gelling uh, properly. So you did the work you found your boo and here you are you know your relationship and everything is going wonderful and the beauty of you is that you continue to do the work you don't just let it slide because you understand that it's like with everything else you have to keep doing it until it becomes a way of life for you so your way of life is first taking care of yourself and once you've taken care of yourself and you continue to take care of yourself then you know you can take care of him. You then know you can take care of the children and be in a healthy and wonderful relationship. So the answer here is yes, you can um, find, uh, you know, your, you can, true love is possible for the feminine woman, providing she's done the work on herself.
If on the other hand, you haven't done the work and you're still, you know, um, in uh, the dating pool and you're looking for your Mr. Right, you're looking for your boo. And every time you think he, you found him, then something happens, um, you know, and you're back at the beginning again. You're going through the hurt and the trauma of another one bites the dust. And so you blame yourself because you don't, uh, you know, really know what's going on. All you know is you're meeting good men, but in the meeting them, it's, you know, they never seem to stay around. They don't hang around. Um, you know, they keep uh, going and nobody, um, you know, in relationships give anyone feedback when it breaks down as to why it didn't work. We go our separate way and we get on with our uh, with our lives, you know, and if this is you and this is what's happening with you, what I would ask you to do is to Take yourself maybe out of the dating game for a little while and work on you. Self-care and self-love is so important to us that we uh, we take it for granted that we're always okay. And the truth is we're not always okay because what we do is we um, we keep covering over the hurt upon hurt upon hurt and we don't speak about it. We just put another um, plaster on the wound and we get on with our lives. But sometimes what happens is the stench of the wound gets to us. And when that gets to us, then it's time for us to stop and ask ourselves, what am I doing wrong? And the only thing that you're doing wrong is you're not taking care of you. You're not taking care of the past hurts. You're not taking care of those who hurt you. You're not taking care of the things that are going wrong in your life. You're just, you know, um, stepping over the crack instead of actually looking at it. And so it's time for you to really stop and look at what is going on and see how you can address it. If you're at a, the point where you're just about to explode, you, you know, you are finding it difficult to get out of bed because you another bad relationship has ended. What I would strongly advise you to do is to engage a therapist or see a counselor because they're the ones that are going to be able to help you in, you know, a professional sense so that you can get the tools and, you know, the things that you need to do in order for you to begin the healing process in order, you know, for um, the, the hurt to begin to, uh, you know, fade away. I would also advise you to go on the Black Swan Academy uh, website and check out the Soulmate Attraction course because in this course, you will learn how to love you again. You will learn, you know, what it is that you can do in order for, um, you know, to attract that wonderful person. You can also look at um, doing the Feminine Mastery class because if, uh, it could be a case where you've been operating in your masculine energy and because you've been in it for such a long time, you didn't even realize that's where you were. You just thought you were doing the very best you could and you, you know, you've told yourself, but this is me. Well, no, actually you've been operating in uh, masculine energy and you now need to get back into, you know, your feminine, wonderful self. So, you know, look at the Feminine Mastery Masterclass and see how that can help you. Whilst you're there, why don't you check out how to talk to men so that they will listen? Because when you go back into, um, you know, on the dating scene again, you will want to know how to speak to somebody so that they do listen to you. And not only is it going to teach you that, but it will also teach you, you know, when you have those little skirmishes, how to speak to somebody so that they not only listen, but how to revolve, resolve, sorry, those little conflicts when they come up so that the relationship can last and you can truly discover what it is to be loved by someone and not just love on a superficial level, but you know that deep last in love where it's not just left, but love, but you know that in this person you've got a friend. I'm not talking about a bestie where you spend hours talking
talking on the phone and they know your deepest darkest secrets but I'm talking about that um, that has the the person whose husband material the person who you've been with for a long time and you know um, you whilst you know them you enjoy being with them you you know want to continue to be them you like where you know your life is going the trips that you take the flowers that he brings for you you didn't think that this was possible and yet because you know you have taken the time out to do something for yourself you realize you too can have it have it all so I would truly advise you to check out Black Swan Relationship Academy and see how you know the courses that we've got on there can help you whilst you're on there why don't you um, book a discovery call with me so that we can you know talk about this some more and see how best you know um, whatever course is on there can help you to become the woman that you want to be if it's true love that you're looking for you know, um, I think it's um, Whitney Houston who did the greatest love of all. And one line of the song that always resonates with me is where she says, the greatest love of all is happening to me. It is me love learning to love me because when I love me and I care about me, then it is easy for me to love and care about other people too. So if there's anything that I've um, said that has resonated with you, and as I've said before, um, you know, send me a DM um, and book a, a discovery call with me so that we can look further into this and see how you can begin to start loving you. So until we meet next Saturday, enjoy your week. Have a great time. Until then, take care. Bye bye.